to, to secure a bank loan. Um, the reason behind this program is to motivate all of you and the secret success lies with the strategy and what strategy they have been followed during their preparation they will share and also uh, you can ask questions whatever appearances regarding the preparation strategy regarding the subjects you can freely research with them and also I congratulate Ipshit recently she got uh, this uh, I got the case so all Odisha rank one and he is a very student of Money Institute also he is preparing for again SSC he is secure in I think SSC is here also he cleared and he cleared many other examinations and we are offering a free civil service coaching for Ipshit uh, I wish we uh, try Sunday the uh, civil service examination also. So this is a short interaction uh, session, like your duration will be maximum one hour. So I hope uh, everybody will listen properly without disturbing anything. Thank you so much. Good morning.
थोड़े एग्जाम ट्राई करे लेवल को पढ़े वो तो जो भी एग्जाम करे तो आराम से ट्राई करो पूरे ऊपर नीचे रैंक करो बट यू विल लेवल टू ट्राई तो हेटा भाई बिल्कुल चिंता करो नहीं कि मोबाइल कोर्स ना गुट्टी सिंपल गुट्टी कोर्स करे तो मन देई के पाठ पढ़ियो जदी 100% ट्राई करो एटा माने मोर सो बड़े बिले तो खाली 6 मास 8 मास सीम परिश्रम खुद से पढ़िया जाछ तला एंटी में कि पूरा धीरे 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 5 वर्ष का टाइम का प्लान करबो तो सेटा दरकार नहीं तो से माने ऑप्शन दे दी अपन माने सामना रे तो जहां जहां भी क्वेरी अछि स्टेप भी अपन कृपा कर बा दरकार तो स्ट्रेटजी सब एक आप ऑलमोस्ट सेम तो तमाने डायरेक्टली इंटरेक्शन करि पइ तो तमाने आसी जे तिला का बहुत बहुत थैंक यू सो थैंक यू सर सो राइट नाउ प्लीज प्लीज शेयर दिस सुनो प्लीज शेयर दिस वी राइटिंग बोथ ऑफ यू फ्रॉम द पेज लेट नॉट वेस्ट टाइम ऑन दिस थिंग लेट यू start your then then say a strategy then there is session uh, identify queries so please go to this so nice let's say next so let's see what the so in the body also so we need to write right now no is that that speak again very good morning to everyone who is present here good morning how are you all doing Uh, many of you are here uh, uh, who shall be writing or has written the civil service examination, be it OPSC or APSC, but are preparing to write. Raise your hand. Please raise your hand. Right. So that we know how. Uh, uh, so that we know the audience who actually will be genuinely interested in the discussion. All of you, or oh, there are some who are not preparing for uh, civil services but some other exam. All, all, all civil service, service aspirants, sir. No, not all. Yes. Okay, but the discussion I am sure will be relevant uh, to all of you uh, at uh, various uh, extent. But I am sure it will be relevant. Those who will be appealing to these are civil services. Who are writing in this which medium? English. <laughs> Or is there anyone who is planning to write in a different language medium? English. So that is the reason we shall be interacting in English. Okay. So my name is Sanjay Pradesh Mishra. Of course, redundant to say, and uh, I'm sure uh, because of this social media stuff, many of you already must be knowing briefly about my background and also my preparation journey. I got. Uh, Rank three in the Odisha Municipal Administrative Service Exam in 2019. Thereafter, I was appointed uh, as the Chief Executive Officer under YFAS, and uh, this time I have fetched to Sivar uh, on the rank of the Civil Service. I would now like to request. No, yeah, thank you. And now I'd like to request uh, my colleague and uh, co-actor Tejesh. Uh,
My name is Ajasthi Goya. You must be with me. I secured the rank one last year in those days in Malaysia. And uh, by God's grace, this time I secured rank 5.6 in the English examination. Uh, so, uh, from a single digit rank to a three digit rank, uh, I do not consider that it's a very good rank, but I have my share of mistakes that I have done. And I'll be very happy to share with you all of those so that you will not make that mistake. And you there is a very good single digit double digit rank and practice it. So this uh, uh, rank thing actually I would like to add something to the, the rank is actually not a power rank, is it? So uh, the interview in particular is such an unpredictable state that uh, this time I think uh, Vinay sir uh, is the founder of this insight so I said written on social media that a person with the rank for 50 something and 418 both of them have got uh, 418 or something both of them have got Equal marks in Britain, that is 880. But one of them got just 140 something in the interview, and the other one got 190 something in the interview. So that unpredictability is there, which is actually fluctuating the rank marks. And at every mark, there are 10, 12, 8, 9, 10 students, 10 candidates. So uh, it doesn't really matter. We should be happy saying that uh, there are some. 9 lakh people behind us in the race rather than saying that there are 400 or 500 or 200 ahead of us. Let this also uh, be uh, on record that uh, in particular I have uh, not taken any coaching neither from uh, this institute nor from any other institute. All health that I have started is I have written a test series from uh, uh, Another uh, institute, Shankar IAS, I had uh, subscribed to their mains test series and I have appeared only two mock interviews. One was uh, from KHG, the other one was uh, the last mind program of Khan Academy, and one which was arranged by the Odisha State Government, the Ubuntu Academy of Administration. That's all. So, some things actually these are need to be put in perspective. So, we can write a lot of things. In the uh, social media after these interactions. So that should be there. But here I'm sure both of us will uh, try our best to help you how to prepare uh, for the civil services examination. And the fact that you are enrolled in uh, such a reputed institute, I'm sure the faculty is here must also uh, help you a lot uh, in realizing your dream, as has been in the case of uh, Epson. So, I think uh, now we should take questions. Regarding myself, uh, okay. to what the yeah. coach was, I had taken a coaching, uh, I can only uh, have taken a foundation course mm -hmm. uh, from KSG. But needless to say, that was in 2019. And when I wrote the examinations for both OCS and UPSC, it was in 2021 and 2022. So, the type of questions that have been asked in examination, the current affairs, so everything changes. So apart from the basic, uh, the basic, the foundational, the fundamental stuff that is being taught in the uh, coaching institute, most of it we have to do it ourselves. We have to update uh, our homes, we have to keep up, uh, updated with what is happening around, and we will lie with the examination. So what Sir told, I think we can take two things from it. First is that this examination is very unpredictable. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, if you just see the range of marks between rank one. To rank 
So J questions for the questions for the one by one. I think we can go row by row or segment by segment so that all are covered. Right. I think the ladies first, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> But the please be free. Yes. Look, I had started. Please. I had started my <coughs> uh, this preparation journey while I was in college during my graduation. I started to prepare to prepare. So I was reading the newspaper back then. So when you read, read the newspaper continuously for a year or two, you get to know all the things that are happening around you. The events of national and international sports which are happening around you, which are relevant to the examination. You get to know them. There is continuity in most of the things. So initially I did that. But when I uh, started to actually prepare for the exam after graduating from college, then I uh, took the help of uh, these current affairs monthlies. I have uh, uh, used uh, sometimes uh, the booklets of the sites, sometimes the vision ideas. They are freely available on the websites. Right. So uh, I use them. Uh, in, in this attempt also, I took help of uh, some compilations. So before the prelims, I used to uh, take the help of these PT365 for the mains. Sometimes the names are specified. There's another all inclusive ideas there also so I used to see. The whole uh, <coughs> point in using these booklets or uh, the compilations is what you know. You are outsourcing the effort to someone else. newspaper no problem. Certainly, both the other person and collision, they will be collision, they are only for it. And that becomes a little bit tedious and time consuming. Two institutes, my husband, the coaching institutes, my definitely they have recruited talent. They are doing that job for you. They are uh, researching, they are, uh, if you, you know, taking down uh, the notes from different magazines, newspapers, and then they are uh, coming up with the compilation. So, if you are reading the newspaper, you know what's going on around. So that when you uh, read the monthly after the end of the month, you don't feel like uh, you don't feel like we given something that you don't know. This was somewhat my strategy. Please share yours. Uh, yes. People uh, cannot be substituted. So, uh, for me, I used to take a pen and uh, underline and read the newspapers. But I did not make any notes from newspapers. I did not have that time actually. Same thing like But I used to pen so I went to your pen. So uh, and what happens is that newspaper gives you that language and flow of sent from sentence to sentence. So I really like you writing your things. And also some you know, keywords, government or you use call So that you get to come from newspaper first of all. Uh, then, on a daily basis, I used to follow insights, ideas, for current affairs. Because they compile the uh, current affairs from, you know, Indian Express, Hindu, and other PID institutes. But again, I did not make a note from it. If you see the question paper, first of all, uh, UPC and uh, OPC has just changed the pattern, so I won't talk about it. But UPC, if you see the questions, they are not asking directly the current affairs of last year or 1.5 years before. It is more of like contemporary affairs. You have to link them with static, a uh, static portion, and also a long term memory will help. And that long term memory can be developed if you consistently read the newspapers, you are aware about what is happening. Like last year, they asked about greenwashing and the uh, media working and that. That was not in the direct uh, current affairs of one year before, or you could not solve it just by going to PDK 65. But then uh, you have to you know, keep your eyes and your open chat and learn. Okay, so. Uh, so consistent newspaper reading is must first of all. Second, you can follow a daily current affairs from insights or ideas baba or anything that can be comfortable with. And for me, PT365 towards the end of the examination, like three four months before the uh, visualize this that uh, booklet, 
that has been my primary source of revision. And some characters have booked it as you go to syllabus, you will understand that like science and technology, environment, these are very important. So three, four times revision of those booklets and uh, two, three, uh, two revisions of other like quality or uh, internal security or IR would suffice. So these are the sources. That's fine. It is up to you. It is up to you. If you want to take down short notes, you can. But by starting initially, I was uh, making some notes somewhere here and there. By 2019 attempt also, I had gone to the interview. Then I had read. This is how I did. It will consume time. See, when you do the PDC questions, you don't have to do the environment PDC question. They are asking from reports or in this sense. That is directly given in the PDC system. So, if you want to do the notes, you can do the PDC system. That is very good. Secondly, you know that science is a term for the university. A is too common. This is what you want to do. This is what you want to do. These questions, it will be directly PDC system. Schemes, government schemes are important here. So, if you go to questions, you will not have to know where to give importance and where not. So, you will not have to say what to remember, what not to remember. So, and what? You need to be specific, so needs are repeated again and again. So, the long term memory will always have that. You, you have a pertinent question as to where to revise from if you don't make the notes. Isn't it? Either you make your notes, you uh, have the time to make, make them. Or you use a compilation, underline them, keep them with you. Or they are easy to make them. I put the notes, but to be honest, one of the current questions that I have to do is around the use of the keyboard. Computer, I computer, computer, but just for one week. Then it's uh, 52 weeks to go. Uh, that's an absolute overkill. See, you might be also being provided with some material from this institute also. You can use them if you want. I was using the same uh, compilation by all inclusive IAS. You can use different people. Many people use these names to justify it from Vision or not. These are pretty available on the internet. There is no dearth of materials. You just need to figure out which way it is working for you. वो नहीं कोटा काम करो ठीक है ना डलाई करो ठीक है तो मैं उधर आपके डलाई सीरियल डिवाइस पर लाऊं ठीक है आप उस सेकंड टाइम जो हो ची उधर तो लेकिन क्या बोलते हैं उधर टेन मार्क्स का प्रश्न था डीजे मेज़ पड़े वाले क्या नहीं और टोटल मार्क्स का टेन मेज़ पड़े वाले क्या नहीं सात आठ मिनट दस मिनट क्यों the more you make notes, the more you have to revise, the more time it takes, you end up knowing. Any other? Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, my question is about how did you approach the answer writing part and uh, the audio subject that is there for our content? How did you approach it? Okay, please please keep it. The answer writing is a very important, I think the most important part of this exam preparation. I had subscribed to a test series as you said. So it's about knowing what to write and how to write. I think how part was being addressed since I was in school or college. Because that develops over time. See how part, your language, your command over your language. If you're writing, you'll say Odia, the word over Odia will not develop within a week or over time. Likewise, I used to read the newspapers while I was in college, so that had contributed significantly to the development of uh, my linguistic uh, skills and capabilities. So that was taken care of. I just had to revise what I need to write on the paper. For that, as I said, I was using some compilations. Now comes the practice part. I had subscribed to a test series, as I said, from Shantar. I just downloaded the uh, Test paper, take print out of the same, set the job, write out the answers, scan it and send it to them for review. 
and you can also compare them with uh, the answers of uh, the previous set of doctors so that you get to know where you can improve or what are the lacunae in your answers. Uh, you had a second question, then. Odia part. Odia yes. Odia is our mother tongue. I have uh, studied Odia till 8th standard, so I did not face any problem with that. I practiced through two, three previous year questions of UPSC and uh, just revised uh, some grammatical portions. That was sufficient for me. She wants to share. So, he said, I had read the touch by six years down the line. So, uh, I did a lot of things in Odia. First of all, we basically did not want to be the first Then, uh, Sarasotra Boy actually, everyone follows that for 8 or 10 years of examination. So, Sarasotra Boy actually, uh, 10 to 12 years of the SA standard. Uh, See, Sarasotra Boy, uh, they have a publication of sheets. Common essays like for uh, climate change, the environment, or the solar body, like that. Uh, and uh, we have to, I think, get 75 out of 300 marks to qualify in that examination. But still, I think I gave importance to that paper. I didn't want to worry. Qualify not very high, but it's very uh, painful. So, uh, so I gave importance to that paper. Second, I think the writing of my paper is that the writing is examination, you know, that main is the crux of this examination. And the interview of the paper, you know, you not know, if the board member who will give you what marks, nobody will for it. So only thing that you have to present in front of the examiner is your main sponsorship. So main by I think two things are very important. One is content, and uh, second is your presentation. Presentation may I cannot have writing if it matters. If it is not legible, then I cannot answer for your key. I cannot mark. And also it depends on your presentation, if you have a diagram social media, like graph social media, like a geography answer would be for where you could draw a map or a graph. Or, uh, or, uh, or for any other matter, you have a flowchart for a group, you have a bubble circle. How you make your answer sheet stand up? Presentation part, you have to buy the doctor's copies for both. Visualize the keep, uh, MGP forum, I is available, so you can see it. So you can break down for two things, every question. Put a question in the 10 marks of policy about election commission. You just don't have to write about anything or everything about the election commission today. Or for example, you have to address the direction of the election commission. You have to address for your different parts for each question. Underline for your key points. The second is that first is the content. And content is that you have to go up to standard books to vote with, first of all. Second is that the material is available in the area and throughout everywhere. So content enrichment for your mind goes in first. Whatever suits you have to coach you to get up with the material that you have to get up with the time only. So say that you have to write it. Third is that the test series will serve for your subscribers to your core master. And the test series will subscribe for you when you get the certificate for the content that you have to get up with the core master. So content in the presentation we have to get up with the balance for your test for you. And uh, at the end exam, we have to time with our hobby apply. But that is where your practice comes into you know, picture. We can answer later today. That's how mind that comes with you. In mains, it is about how your mind works. Your mind is going to tell you points as you have to automatically let it out. So your mind should be very, you know, sharp. And say that as you have to, you know, practice. So that is it. Now, dear Philips, they don't predict you. So how do you prepare for Philips and what is the practice? You should answer this. Yes. Yeah, the beard, this is and, uh, I think I gave it by the smart. So, prelims uh, is becoming very difficult, I will say. See, I will tell you what I will tell you. But you see, what they want, they want even individuals or uh, officers who are well aware about things. So, I have a bookish dreams of what he was seeing as in the reproduced of his data. They don't want. They want to know how to know how to look up from the things on charity. So, if they are going to ask questions for charity, and why shouldn't they ask? If they are going to ask about international relations, they are the things that are affecting India, India's interest. So, definitely there will be questions from my area. And so, I think first of all, standard books, statics, data talk now, you can't believe that. So, Sekura revision works. Secondly, current affairs, I think, 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 I think
मैंने इफेक्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन एनी हाउ 1.5 किलो कंटेंट्री एफएस के क्लास थर्ड ऑफ जी पीवीएस के क्वेश्चंस को बहुत एनालिसिस के लिए लगता है कि कौन से क्वेश्चन पढ़ रहा है वो एरिया का फेवरेट पार्ट ऑफ जी पीएसी के लिए एंड टेस्ट सीरीज से मैं हेल्प करे मॉक टेस्ट मैंने मॉक टेस्ट में बोली है जानते पहले कि यू नो व्हाट एन मनी स्ट्रॉंग एरिया से तो जब मैंने द एलिमिनेट ऑप्शन पहली बार की बात मैंने व्हिच व्हिच पोर्शन शुड आई गिव मोर पॉइंट्स आई गिव मोर एनवायरनमेंट थ्रू स्पेसिफिकली क्वेश्चंस की गए बट बाकी बाकी जॉब में की गए तो मैं तो ये फाइव टू चूज बिटवीन मैंने डेटा क्वेश्चन टू टू चूज करिए बोलो साइड में प्राइवेट टू एनवायरनमेंट क्वेश्चन एंड नंबर ऑफ अटेंड्स फॉर बी हैज बीन मोर ऑफ लाइक मोर एक्टिविस्ट से uh the quality of the quality is probably has been around 70 to 80 questions so there are students who are very good questions for the assignment with the other this is a very individual thing apart from the three questions key for key key for me this you get to know it by giving multiple mocks jane ko by jab par spend week se jane kar liye but the books are the same to see the follow kar rahi ki insights ko padh lena kya follow kar rahi hai doesn't make a big of a difference but apart from the moderate part the game itla ko you know एलिमिनेट कर पर से भी किंतु मन को छि अपन तरफ बारा बार देखे रिवाइज कर छि दैट्स व्हाट मैटर्स गेम्स आई हैव रिटन टू आई हैव क्वालिफाइड टू लाइक 2019 एंड 2022 इन 2019 आई हैड अटेंप्टेड 98 आउट ऑफ 100 क्वेश्चंस एंड इन 2022 आई हैड अटेंप्टेड 97 आउट ऑफ 100 क्वेश्चंस दुर्गा आई वाज इन 2022 आई हैड अटेंप्टेड 99 आउट ऑफ 100 क्वेश्चंस so uh, if he concept for if jitte jod jitte bolse bhi padhi ki bolle kuli bolista ke dilista question ko adhika asti that is for sure ab uh, ekle jemti pattern change ho chhi the dile mane e borsa re chhi ke to the following question ta dekhi ni 2023 ho kintu emti pas upar ko dekhi chhi ja se jo only one only two only three type ro bahut poti pade pade ka question se dile pad jai chhi So there is some kind of questions like your elimination techniques which you used to work till 2020 to uh, mind stop working. So say that uh, the only thing you are left with is uh, to, to to take educated guesses. Now you take educated guess, then you keep your eyes and ears open. You know a lot of things. You have heard something somewhere that comes in the exam. You have seen something somewhere which comes in. Uh, क्वेश्चन किसी को बोले यूज करते हो पढ़ चलते हो पढ़ चलते हो पढ़ चलते जहाँ मतलब यू मेक अ हैबिट कि जहाँ भी किसी जिम्स का पाउंड है ना ठीक है देखिए मतलब जहाँ आपको पानी बोतल लगा दिया गया ठीक है ठीक है मतलब तेरे कौन लेखा है जी कोटी कोटी तेरे जी कौन है अगर मतलब कैल्शियम अच्छी पैकेजेस So this is actually a habit that you should cultivate. So many things are going to be missing. Knowledge, yeah, there are many things that you have to do. So that you will get to see. After that, 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 you will get to see. You are taking a guess at four questions, and uh, one uh, is correct, and three of them go wrong. Yet you have a net zero score, isn't it? It's a net zero. Three questions will take away two marks. You should get for this one bad response. So if you take forty guesses, at least you can get fifteen out of them correct, isn't it? You, if you have read your stuff, if you have done your stuff, if you have done your practice. If you analyze which paper you are weak and you have accordingly given your word, then you can uh, get 15 or 10, 15, 16 out of the, out of 14 minimum. Correct. Right. I'll give you a positive score. This is a complete gap these days. You never know if a topper will fail the next few years. I think you will. I I have uh, people in my know who have uh, qualified the exam who are in some. So, who have written the mains again? Who have written the mains? So, if prelims are involved, new exam might require the new strategy. 
Okay. In general, this would be your track. You should maximize your attempts. You should keep your eyes and ears open. Two months or three months before the prelims.
Okay, so what are the major mistakes due to frustration? See, a very big mistake is not remembering the syllabus. If you don't remember the syllabus of the exam, be it OPS, OPS, OPSC, that means you are traveling in a train without a ticket. You don't know where to go. So you should make the syllabus by heart. Judgment of that syllabus is not good enough. So accordingly, when you are reading the newspaper, you know what really you need to read, what really you don't need to. It's very important to know what you did not study or did not read from the newspaper. That brings me to the second big mistake. It's not knowing what not to read. There are some, I won't take names, there are some thick, large books uh, on, let's say, world history, on art and culture. What if you start reading those? They will take a lot of time. But the benefit cost ratio is so poor that you would be unnecessarily just wasting your time. Even if you cover those thick books, you still will not be able to answer a question asked in the prints. The questions from art history are sometimes such that even history optional candidates don't get to answer them properly. So the second mistake is not knowing what not to read. The third mistake is thinking that you have a lot of time. Time is actually very short for everyone. So right from day one, right from today, start doing what you are planning to do, let's say five months down the line. Make a proper strategy. The fourth mistake is the lack of practice. Practice now when you the example of the by not doing enough practice, that's also a mistake. Uh, so these are by and large uh, some mistakes. But the last day is the OMAS strategy. See, for OMAS exam, I did not have any particular strategy because I was preparing for the UPSC, so much of my coverage was anyways done, much of my general study preparation, etc. was done. I only had to revise a little bit of the paper to stuff. The formula decay, essay, essay, jazz, go for it. Arithmetic, logical reasoning, essay, and so on. Say that decay, you can see that. So, you can see that. 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 It's a green colored towel book. Probably Aryan publication. By some famous author. Not able to recall it really, sorry. But, say, you can see that. You can see that. You can see that. That was it. From the previous year, we have a question about OPSC. We have a question about OPSC. We have a question about OPSC. You know, the exam last year is 5 years. Odisha Civil Services, Tarah Prelims are papers. OMA is from previous papers. ASO exam are papers. Even I code ASO exam are papers. That's available online. Say some of the exam are papers, whatever, take a solve for the rest. Questions might get repeated, you never know. Repeated question is in UPSC CSAT strategy and more to rank one digit to three digit and three digit and when I gave the prelims last year, for a GSA I had a very good score. I was very happy. I checked the CSAT paper, it was 65. And the qualifying marks is 66. So uh, I think not clearing CSAT is a very big blunder that you can do in this preparation. 200 marks or 66 magic is a thing you were asking. And so uh, you know I felt very disheartened that what the boss said today, what else he, what the English or what the English, what the maths, he got it. They probably I would be writing things. How uh, you both keys to check Kali? Anyways, uh, my strategy uh, was to figure out what exactly I need to read. I, I had uh, chalked out for myself a uh, book list. The thumb rule is one book for one subject, not more than that. If you are studying more, that means you are heading towards failure. Don't study more for this exam. Try to optimize the resources that you have. Try to 
get maximum outcome from minimum resources. So uh, I followed this uh, Lakshmikant for quality. A compilation from Sridhar's IAS for economics. Four NCRT books of geography of class 11 and 12th. Because I have also had the privilege of studying in DM school, which is directly at the NCRT. So, uh, from standard 6 onwards, we studied only the NCRT books for all these subjects. So, but that part, I had to read uh, these books again. Uh, I have studied these class 7 and 10, 10 uh, NCRTs initially of geography uh, in particular. But uh, I would say if you only read uh, 11th or, and 12th, or at best 9th and 11th, that would suffice. Things will uh, repeat in uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th. So the four books of uh, 11th and 12th for geography. Sh uh, then uh, Sridhar's IAS for economics, as I said, Shankar IAS it comes out with a compilation on empowerment. I followed that, then it offers two. Then for uh, Modern history, I did this uh, Raji Yogi research book, Spectrum Publication. Prior to that, I had uh, read this uh, old NCRT book, which was written by Sri Bibhan Chandra, the great historian. There's an old NCRT book. But this Spectrum Publication book actually uh, borrows uh, portions from the old NCRT. So you can safely follow this Spectrum Publication book. Then for uh, art and culture, I followed a NCRT book of class 11th. Introduction to Indian art or something, there is a book. That is a good book, a small and concise uh, material from which you can get most of the uh, knowledge that you require to answer the questions, if not all. So the, the cost benefit of reading that book is very good. In addition to that, for the uh, ancient medieval history and art culture portion, I used to follow this uh, Tamil Nadu uh, State Board 11th class history book. So this was by and large the locust for general studies. Along with that, I used to read the newspaper. Uh, of late, I mean, in this last attempt, I could not find time to read the newspaper uh, except before the interview. Uh, but these compilations, as I said, monthly compilations, any institute which you like, I'm not uh, really promoting any institute, I just said what I followed, but all of them are uh, more or less of the same standard. So you can follow any of them. That's what I in fact did. And my strategy of uh, studying was I used to take uh, two subjects at a time of test, not more than that. So let's say if I'm picking up this economics thing, I have to complete at least half of uh, the notes. Then I'll switch to another subject, studying for three, four days, five days. Then I'll go back to this economics and complete this. Then I again go back and complete the other. So one or two subjects I used to take at a time, but I used to complete them uh, accordingly. And it is only two months before prelims that I used to practice for prelims. I started writing answers and essays only after getting through the prelims. And interview preparation is something that uh, I would say starts first. Interview preparation is the agro is starting again. It's in reverse order. School re, I'm okay. Multiple choice study is a little bit high time. School with a answer like that, like debate, re, location, competition, these are parts of it. Well, it's like to more articulation skills. There is a body. So it's a little bit lifelong process. There is a whole extent personal development. It's a it before the interview. You can simply sharpen those skills, or you can uh, refine them a little bit. You cannot develop a whole personality and uh, go and sit before them to get more than 10 plus marks uh, in a span of 3 months. That's not, uh, so, yeah, that's very unpredictable. So, interview if you do well in your uh, main exam, you will be anyway through. Uh, the service that is best for you will come to you. 
<laughs> so, how was uh, uh, the the compounded question uh, with this is how was interview and how you cleared? These guys said interview is one of the most unpredictable uh, uh, stages in uh, this exam preparation. I had got, uh, I think, uh, the second highest marks in this uh, OMAS interview. That carries only 50 marks. Uh, I had got, I think, uh, I don't exactly remember, but I remember the fact that it was second highest 40 something, 45, 44, or 46, something like that. Uh, during my 2019 interview, I got 176. During this attempt, I got 168. So nobody knows what exactly uh, is being expected. So in both cases, I was made. Uh, I was made to sit on the chair before me. I was made very comfortable initially with the two three minutes. And uh, as some of you also might be thinking that uh, I am not so poor in articulating things. So to every question, I in my own analysis, give a decent answer. Wherever I could not uh, recall uh, the exact answer or when I was expected to uh, give uh, a particularistic answer which I did not know, I used to immediately admit, oh sir, sorry, I don't have a convincing answer to this, or say I'm sorry sir, I may not be able to answer it uh, to your satisfaction, or uh, I'm sorry sir, I don't remember this. There is no harm in admitting there, you should admit. In fact, Chauve sir, this time told me that initially, before starting, that uh, see Santhya, we are very good people sitting here, we don't expect you to answer all the questions, even we can't answer all the questions. So you can be very honest with us, wherever you do not know something, you can say, yeah, no problem. He was extremely cordial, very, very, very cordial and very nice. So also, uh, Nagraj Madam, uh, in my previous attempt. Interview continued for around 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, why, why did you leave her? Yeah, all that kind of stuff, I don't think uh, it is being asked. Uh, but your personality is studied there. How suitable you are actually for a career in civil services. If you are, let's say, blocking things. Something very negative. If you are lying to the board, very negative. How cordial you are. How will you answer things? How articulate you are? And those in the UPSC prospectus, in the advertisement which comes uh, in this uh, uh, employment news, but the advertisement first file. So, who was that? Say that the prospectus is say that the interview is not single interview. This is not a exact verbatim one of the It's not a process of strict cross examination. Say that the interview is a process of interaction. You take the EAA qualities, but I will take the exact. Clarity of thought, expression, so actually strategy for essay and ethics. Essay, ethics, and optional constitute a thousand marks. So, if essay, ethics, and optional papers are taken care of, much of your success is also taken care of. Particular about essay, uh, my uh, preparation for essay was not very specific. Much of your essay preparation is done along with your general studies preparation. The content part is, anyways, prepared. Now you need to know how do you write an essay. The question If you feel you are good at writing an essay, it's okay, but you should. And this is also uh, taken care of when you read the newspaper. So what happens when you are reading articles or uh, editorials from the newspaper? You know how to put things in words. What kind of phraseology that you need to use? How do you jump from one paragraph to a different. How do you start a new paragraph or how do you start to, uh, uh, or how do you in fact change the uh, focus of uh, 
uh, your expression. Let's say you are explaining something in one paragraph, or you start, you want to uh, uh, articulate something else, or uh, change your focus to some new topic in the next paragraph. So how do you switch over? These things you will learn when you read the newspaper, and these these skills will all implicitly develop. So because I was reading the newspaper, so I believe uh, this was being taken care of since first year. But uh, those of you who are also not reading the newspaper can start reading the paper, and you can also look after the works of famous essayists. That how exactly they are writing. Many people advise that you should use headings, subheadings in essays. In my opinion, that is not something that you should do. In fact, I would not use that. An essay should not also constitute any diagrams, any flowcharts. It should be absolutely. Uh, descriptive, starting from the first word till the last, you should break it down uh, in the initial, uh, uh, in the introductory paragraph. You should uh, put your thoughts in such a way that the examiner or the reader finds a newfound interest to actually go through your essay. If, if that's quite boring. You would not feel uh, the zeal to continue reading it till because uh, an essay will anyways uh, uh, run into eight nine pages. So you have to make it a bit interesting. In the subsequent paragraph, you can uh, delineate what exactly will you be writing in the different uh, paragraphs of your essay. Subsequently, in the new paragraphs, you can start explaining one idea in each paragraph. At last, at last, when you are concluding it, I used to. Conclude in such a manner that I can connect it back to where I started. So that talks a full circle. In 2019 attempt, I had got 138 in ASA. This time it was 120. Uh, so I think uh, I got the kind of uh, outcome that I expected. Could have gone a little bit higher. Again, you don't know. You it might have also come uh, down a bit, but more or less, it was fine. So, but I think for the starters, there is a book by Anurag Gurishiti sir. He was a 2017 He has a book totally dedicated to SS. Yes, I'm sorry. Everything is well covered. Everything goes to the book. You just hear and idea. And both the doctors copy the SS, how they write, what dimensions they do, how to jump from one paragraph to another. So we'll get that. Actually, these days, this I'd like to make a particular question. These days, you might be asked to. Write an essay on a topic which you might never have heard. It's very abstract, very thought provoking, and you may find yourself in an absolute dirt of the internet. What exactly will I write here? So, here practice is very important. I'm going to give a little practice for example, e time to essay. But if you want to write an essay about the health system or the education system, you have uh, enough material. I think more than enough to write if you want to write it. So, in the real exam, what you should do is 3 hours, 2 essays, 90 minutes for each essay, initial 5 minutes think properly, which essay shall I write? Once you are decided on the topic, on the rough page, draw a diagram sort of thing and break down your ideas and thoughts there. What exactly should I be writing? Chaja points of this opportunity for those that are making you. Chaja points of this opportunity for those that are making you. In the introduction, I write this and this. Chaja points of this opportunity for those that are making you. You can use some data, some codes, statistics. Case of this will enrich your essay. So, I don't know that goes without saying. But this is how you break down. You can safely give 20 to 25 minutes think and uh, chalk a plan. Use one hour to write it down. Don't use more than uh, 90 minutes of time per essay, otherwise, one hour will catch good marks, the other one will not catch good marks. As uh, regards ethics preparation, the ethics, uh, the, the, the ethics syllabus has uh, two, three components. One is uh, this absolute uh, philosophical ideas and things. Uh, so for that, I, I used to refer to the lectures of Professor Michael Sandy. 
there is uh, this uh, Harvard open, uh, massive online open course, Justice with Michael Sandel, that's available on YouTube. So that, that's one of the best resources to prepare for this topic, Justice with Michael Sandel. Michael Sandel is a very famous philosopher of uh, current times, so I, I refer to his lectures. So much of the syllabus topic is covered there. Remaining portions I used to refer to this uh, Subarao and there is other uh, book also. There are two books for methods. One is uh, Subarao and the other one is Lexicon. So I had got both the books. I simply cursorily went through both the books and uh, borrowed uh, those portions which I found to be relevant. I prepared my own notes uh, for the ethics. And as regards case studies, you need to actually look. Uh, and the answer sheets of uh, the previous set offers, how exactly they are representing, who are actually getting good marks. And the practice is very much essential. Otherwise, there, is, there are high chances that you might end up uh, missing one or two questions. You might have to omit one or two questions. The time will be the most limiting factor in the exam. I have seen candidates this year who, I don't know how prepared that guy was, but he told me that they could not answer a single 10 marker question, he could only answer the 6 case studies in 3 hours. He was out of the rest there. So, there's no point in doing that, you have to practice how to answer a case study. There's a stakeholder approach, you can address uh, in a different way, when you are uh, reading a case study, uh, these, 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 these people are the stakeholders here, this is the given situation. And right away, jump into the demand of the question. Let's say the case study is asking, what do you need to do in this sort of situation? Start immediately analyzing. Or if it's asking that analyze the different options that are available to you and what would you do, then immediately start writing your option. Start your uh, introduction. This is a uh, certain sort of situation where uh, so and so uh, uh, is this. And uh, if you can connect it to a static thing from the same GS ethics syllabus, let's say for example, uh, you read a case study, you read a question, you know that this is the situation and you can some way connect it to let's say Kantian ethics, what Emmanuel Kant has said or what John Rawls has said, you will read it in a different portion. There will be static questions in the first initial uh, 13 questions which will be directly from this. But if you can use this knowledge in your case study, that will contribute to increasing your marks. Then you can uh, right away jump to option 1, this, merits, demerits. Option 2, this, merits, demerits. Simply in a table format. And my choice or what I would do, this, why. Then list the reasons and then conclude it. So it's very important to write very fast in essay. In, in, in ethics.
जो कि किसी इम्पोर्टेंट इवेंट साला कि किसी उधर न्यूज़ रहा साला तार उनका लिस्ट बने दिया तो एवं तार साइड में लिखी दिया तो कि उनका सोशल जो कोई कोई टॉपिक है वो ए एग्जाम्पल तक देख रहे हो तो ऑटोमेटिकली इफ यू हैव डन दिस प्रैक्टिस एट होम एन एग्जाम्पल स्टम्स टू योर माइंड कि हाँ ए ए बोर्डिंग पर पड़ा तो हियर आई कैन कोट दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द रीसेंट मल्टी डायमेंशनल पॉवर्टी इंडेक्स रिपोर्ट रहा ए इंडिया का नाइटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स वर्ड्स हो और आप कैसे लोग हंगर दे ग्लोबल हंगर इंडेक्स रेटिंग आया है आज ची हमारे इंडिया का स्टैटिस्टिक्स है यार For the test series of both general studies and uh, sociology with Shankar Ayers, but I did not write. I did not have much time to write sociology tests. And I also did not write because last in my 2019 attempt I had got to 56 something without with with hardly any practice. I I I I can say safely that I wrote uh, proper answers only in the exam itself. Then 15 days ago I had done some practice. Because uh, in my 2019 attempt, I did not have much time to prepare for the mains. But in this attempt, I mastered the content, so I, I got a decent to serve the three this time. So I think uh, that was fine. So this is some topic copy sociology. You can refer to Anu Kumar Madam's uh, answer sheets. Last year also, Jack Shodri, I think Jack Shodri ranked six. He is also a very good uh, presentation. You can see that. Uh, this is the best. Do you like your design? The white. Thank you, sir. I will go to another question. Actually, so that was another thing. Actually, the Sarah Madam also did it after the session. So I made a question only for that. Last question. Last question. Hey, no. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. My question is both of you. How to manage your time and consistency as a student? I think it's most important as an aspirant. Okay. Are you managing a job? No. Basically. Preparing for your. Absolutely, na. No? Yes. Yeah. Now, be twenty four hours. If you, even if you are taking just for eight hours, you have sixteen more hours left. Do your chores within the four or five hours. You still have a lot of time. It's about devoting. Uh, it's about. It's not exactly time management. It's about setting your priorities right. What priorities do you have? Okay. You can devote all the rest of the time to studies as we used to do, ex excepting some time to spend among friends. And within that, you fix your targets for a week. That I have to complete these many things or these many subjects in this week. And don't make a very idealistic uh, timetable. That I have been sitting and studying for ten hours a day. In the long run, actually, that is very difficult to sustain. Make a very realistic timetable. If you are studying around seven to eight hours per day, on average, that should suffice. No problem. And this issue and this question actually makes the mind of more or less every candidate. And we have also been there, done that. Okay, no problem. <laughs> टाइम मैनेजमेंट में ही मूव करते हैं कि कि हमारा कोला जब भी एक बार प्रिपेयरिंग करता है गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम तो तब वो कोला से उधर प्राइवेटली स्पेशली हाउ वो प्लान दे एग्जाम तो आप वो तो आप उसी काम में ताऊ जहाँ पे ला बेसिक नीड्स तो वो ला जहाँ पे खाएगा वो ला एग्जाम तो ट्वेंटी फोर तो बट्टे मिनट में बट्टे क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व कर पाएंगे तो वन वन क्वेश्चन जब वो एक्सेस कर ले जब तक क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व कर ले तब तक मुक्तो हो जाएगा जब तक प्रैक्टिस कर ले आएगा भी दैट इस सेट अप बेटर को कंफर्म कर ले तो अगर हम वो भी वन मिनट में सोपो ले लेकिन तो हमें कौन काम कर रहे हैं कि वन मिन 
कि ब्रश करे पांच मिनट मोर मस्त हो तो ब्रश करे किसी जरूरी है छे तापर गाने सितो होले आपने सो गाने वाले को इच्छा वाले पैसो वेस्ट टाइम बाकी तमे के एग्जाम क्रैक वाला पर के पचे में कि तो ब्रश को थोड़ो कि नहीं तो एडवांटेज भी होसे कि तुमे जब ब्रश करे करे कई प्रकार कथा भी दैट इज सो गुड युवा सेविंग और एनर्जी विकास सबुतो अधिका एनर्जी खर्च रे कथा बा तो के डिस्टर्ब भी करबे नहीं बिकॉज़ आई एम हैप्पी नोबडी डिस्टर्बिंग मी कोचिंग मोटे जाओ तो मु गाधान मो पाखरे तो बसंत माय सी के जे तो आपने तो सही तो हेतरे तो बाकी सिलेक्शन ला पर सही माने मो से आसी के देखिया नाही तो इंटरव्यू पर तो गूगल तो हमेशा करे तो
more than 50% more than the time more than 50% 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 more than बाइक तमें ठीक है पैसा दे के पेट्रोल पके देलो पछाडे बसी पडलो रीजन में कि तम एथे के साथ कोतले कि नीचे बसे करी आइदर तमे बसी मोड्स बना न्यूज पेपर पडी अदरवाइज पछि खेतो को बुझेटा कंपाइल करी बेटर फॉर मी सामने को मोड ने आईडी से मोड के पेटा पहुंचे आछी कोन पडी के कोन मत करी कि न्यूज पेपर गाइड न्यूज पेपर गाइड आ तो देखाई दो जी तो जी कोन माने 12 वर्ष जो को नहीं करी को खेला तो समोर बढ़िया तो आपने आमे माइंड पर पसे उठा बेटा कोन लेखा कि माने नहीं में खोला कोन खोला तू तो सही है नहीं आप तक को बोल रहा हूं आप तो सही है सिर्फ क्या पढ़े हुए एक बार कर लो तो समीर ने बोला तो तो देखिए क्या है तो ये सब डिस्कस हो रहा है और दे न्यूज़ में बोलते हैं पता है सिंपली फॉर प्रेजेंस तो हमने तो टाइम सब इंडिया को आओ एक बार समझ सोलो पेज कुड़िया पेज आज तक मुझे कौन है पढ़ी भी खाली बोलते हो जब तक बोलते हो मिनट मुझे खुश भी दूसरी मिनट खुश भी जब तक सोलो में बोलते हो ज़्यादा बार आप लोग लाख खुश भी हैं पुरी आज तक आप लोग पढ़ी भी तो ये सब बहुत कंपनी जो आपसे इट इस बेटर की अरे पढ़ी ले भी फायदा हो सके फिर भी जब तक तुम तो कंपनी नॉर्मली वी आर डिपेंडिंग ऑन टू दिस लेवल जनरल सो कैन रे तो आज कल इंटरनेट रे एवरीथिंग नोट्स को आराम करी सब कुछ इज अवेलेबल सो तो जो भी नोट्स थोड़ा रेडी बट अवेलेबल से का आराम से तुम्हें प्रिपेयर कर ले भाई आराम से जो भी रिसर्च कर ले तो ये तो बहुत इंटरेस्ट है जो लॉन्ग जर्नी जो भी तुम्हें थिंक हो जो तरह डिफरेंट स्टेजेस होते हैं जैसे प्रीलिम है गला तापर तो वो मेन एग्जाम वाला तापर इंटरव्यू वाला थ्री स्टेजेस तो जेंट की प्रिपरेशन आराम हो करियो धीरे-धीरे सब जिनसे जाने 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 जीवो कहीं ना एते मु स्टार्ट करनी सब विषय रे जो ऑप्शनल विषय रे ये विषय रे के कंफ्यूजन था है फिर भी जो माने स्टार्ट करत तो ठीक है से आउटपुट का मन का बचा लिए बताई करियो बट लाइफ रे मु कोई भी इंडिया रे सब तो प्रेस्टीजियस आउ माने होप थे भगवान जो तो राज जो लगे तो सिविल सर्विस जो सेति मई लाइफ रे पर आबे पाए कि न पाए अटेंड करे दरकार मो जो सारथिले से को काम करते रे समस्त इपीसी टोटा करथि माने मो कहि के समस्त काम करथि ना ना मे पाए यूपीएससी रे जॉब खाली पाए पाए नि यूपीएससी प्रिपेयर जो मो कर देले जणे मने तो 3 नंबर रखले से कलेक्टर बडला मो 3 नंबर कम रखले कलेक्टर बडले त आमे नि कि मो टैलेंट कमी गला तो मो एति इपीएससी रे प्रिपेरेशन इज इटसेल्फ इज माने एते बढ़िया दिस जे कि तुमार पर्सनालिटी तुमार थिंकिंग पावर तुमार एनालिटिकल पावर तुमार करि काम करे डायरेक्शन सब कुछ दिस चेंज करे सेति में से को दी ईच स्टूडेंट मस्ट प्रिपेयर यूपीएससी फॉर वन से अ लाइफ टाइम से जॉब हो कि न हो बट जॉब न होले भी से एते चीज से सीख जाय तो ता दिस ऑफ कैलकुलेटिव से बहुत एक्सेल कर बे इवन इफ देयर आर सो मेनी एग्जांपल्स जो माने प्रिपरेशन करि के फेल हो जाय बट निजर पर्सनल कैरियर रे आउट आउट हो जाय बुझा पड़ो त हेटा में ये माने में टिके में थी क्वेश्चन प्रिपरेशन पाई तो मन माने आराम से प्रिपरेशन कर पेलो प्रिपरेशन करे के किछ बुराय नै बट हु नोस कि यू विल बी ट्राई काहे कि आज इच्छा हो नै खाली सुपर होई पर कि त हम मन इते लागि छौ जे यू विल बी गोल टू द डीप एंड यू विल बी आफ्टर एग्जाम विथ गुड रैंक आल्सो त हेते पाइ कि आराम से करि परबो त करिया पाइ कि हमरा कोइ कि ओछु न मो टाइम रे इ कोचिंग सेंटर नथिला तो बहुत ऑफराइडिंग जाओ कि नथिले आज कल भी बहुत जन अच्छा जो माने तो हां प्रॉब्लम रहो छि कि डिग्री करले से कोचिंग ना पे से रोहिबा खाइबा तो सब बहुत ही जियो मो टाइम पे सेटल 5000 मिनिमम थिला काहे ना मेस वाला अरे जन ने घर वाला भी अरे जन थिला तो 5000 सेटल में माने मो रुचि 2000 6 था तो ये पे तो आउ ही बहुत थियो तो एति में कि मोर बडा थिला कि बहुत स्टूडेंट अच्छा जो माने सिलेक्शन पाउ ना कि रीजन में कि प्रिपेयर हो ना जेते बिहार रो पिला करला माने बहुत 
ग्रेजुएशन सब लोग सीधा चलने दीजिए चलिए इसको जाएगा आपसे किया सराय के लिए आपका बुधवार से नगर और लाभों का राजन जगह नगर तो बिहार नगर से भी ओनली स्टूडेंट कोचिंग सेंटर और आप लोग दुकान से जो हमारे स्टूडेंट रिलेटेड तो समान जाते हैं मुझे ना लगता है कि बहुत लोग जाओ ना कि आन आना तो वो है कि हम लोग उड़ीसा ऐसे कोच हमारे स्टेट अब समझ को इच्छा भी लेके चाहिए पर उनके लिए बहुत ज़्यादा तो है कि भाई हमें चिंता करते हैं बड़ा ये तो शायद हमें दस दिन का बाद किसी बिना पाए में तो इन्हीं से ये शार्टेड हो जाएगी ये सब जाप के लिए करो मतलब बस लैंग के लिए बिना पाए में जी मना करो ये लोग लोकल बिना तो सेवेंट तो जापने हमें से डोंट एक्स टू को दैट इज यूपीएसी तो ताज़ा बैंकिंग ऐसा तो लोएगा तो यूपीएसी रहा हमें अब चिंता करो चुनी माने मैक्सिमम लोग मैक्सिमम आपको उड़ीसा स्टूडेंट बिना को पाल दो अब एक बार शुरू करो बढ़िया तीस तरह के बहुत और क्या सिलेक्शन किया आपको उड़ीसा तो एक बार इंक्रीज ही चाहि� माने पूरा भी प्रिपेयर रहा है अगर ये नौकरी में दिल्ली में कोर्ट माने दिल्ली में तो ऑटोमेटिकली तुमको एक मुझे सोमो दिन सम मिलेगा बिकॉज़ इन्हें बहुत स्टूडेंट आते हैं इसलिए ऑल परसेंट में इन्हें कोई भी पॉसिबल होती है फॉर एग्जांपल के सोमो ऑप्शनल इट आप लोग काम भी करेंगे तो नो � तो जितने मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल है मैं चिंता करूं चुकी हूं कि हमें प्रोवाइड करें तो डेट इस डी बेस्ट सर्विस और हमें ट्राई करूं चुकी हूं जितने फॉलोवर टीचर जो मैंने आशी बारे में हमें दिल्ली के टीचर आने के लिए क्या करना है और क्लास करूं चुकी तो जो मैंने नीचे भी सेल्फ स्टडी भी तो हमें नीचे में रहना पड़ी हो आप बोल रहे हैं कि जो है बहुत कोशिश पढ़ाई पढ़ाई के लिए से पढ़ाई हो तो तो हमें दिनों साला जितने भी गेम करें वो मुंह भाते कि जो है टीचर जी पढ़ो जी से बोलते हैं थोड़ा एक आदमी मॉल से तो मुझे बुझे दो तू अब स्वाद से इस मॉल का लाइक जो एट आवर्स पढ़ी � तो मूवी आउट तो बहुत सारा सब्जेक्ट अच्छे जो कहीं आपने कभी पढ़ी ना थी पर ऐसा हम लोगी आज भी मूवी दिल्ली को भी तो मानने का तो जीएस मूवी टेक्निकल स्टूडेंट फिल्म इंजीनियरिंग तो जीएस का मूवी हिस्ट्री जो कभी पॉलिटिक्स ऐसे पर आप पढ़ी नहीं करो तो आप हाई लोग स्वाले सीधा पढ़ लाओ लोग अपने मत तो डेट इस मोर हेल्पफुल फॉर मी सो सेटअप में मुझे कि लगे इस कोचिंग का आर्टेंस भी अच्छे विचार आर्टेंस आपकी एक बार भाई बोलो बट इतने ही आमे जो हमारे कि बहुत टीचर पढ़े लेकिन तो बात टेस्ट सीरीज से देखो लेकिन प्रैक्टिस करो आप बोले लेकि एनवायरनमेंट जब दिन मारे एक ने हमारे पुरुष जो काम देखो नहीं काम करो जी कमांड नहीं जोड़ा बोलो और एक टीम का मैं ऐसे लोग को मैं सांगा सांगा का सांगा किस लोग तो टापरे को मारो जब भी मारे जी सिक्योरिटी वाले को सेक्टर के लिए दो टापरे करने के लिए सारा सामने से देखो जी नाटक में जाने को लाइक करने के लिए वाले टीचर पैक करने के लिए सारा सामने से देखो यू इन नाइट एक बुर्स सर्कल तो सर्कल हेल्पफुल मोर हेल्पफुल फॉर द प्रिपरेशन तो बड़े एनवायरनमेंट वाइज तो ऐसे जैसे स्टडी एनवायरनमेंट वही चीज़ साल मोर इन कोचिंग नेटर जोड़ा कि उनकी एक भारी कुछ ना मिल जाए तो दिस इज़ ऑल अबाउट तो ये पहले तो डिटेल सम जो मैंने स्टार्ट किया हुआ था ना हम पहले आपने नेशनल सेशन हो ची डिटेल ये वजह से हमें इतना उत्तर देने का एक क्वेश्� कि वाइट इज यूपीएस से एग्जाम तादेव कौन पढ़ा है इग्नोर माने जो सिलाबों से ची वो वो सिलाबों से माने जो पेपर सोच से से पेपर इधर को पेपर पाई है सी सेट पाई हो कि जीएस पाई हो सब्जेक्ट पाई स्कूल को बहुत बढ़िया लग रहा है सब कुछ एक्सर्ट डिटेल रहेगा इस बारे में बोलने के लिए करीबों में तो कुछ प्लस इवेन इन आना डिपरेंट डिपरेंट काउंसलिंग सिस्टम को चुके वो ऑप्शनल लगा देते हैं जब भी कि वहाँ पर लोगी इकोनॉमिक्स नहीं भी ना सोशियोलॉजी नहीं भी ये बहुत बहुत आधी डाउन हो जाती है बहुत सारा बिलाय पर बोल रहे हैं जोग्राफी नहीं भी नहीं बस वो आपने देखी थी सोशियोलॉजी में
हुए कि बाबा भाग्यो जी मोर बैंकिंग बहुत माने मो आईएसएस पाइबे कि नहीं कि जे मैडम मोर एस एग्जाम देले बट हला नहीं ता माने से तो जे जे कोले बाय का बट आई वॉइस एग्जाम देले ता रैंक वन असला माने आईएस रे भी पाइले ता माने कोला कि मोर छोटो एग्जाम हो नी ता डस नॉट मीन मोर आउट एग्जाम हो नी बिकॉज़ गॉड नो माने भगवान तो मैं कौन तो मैं सती जोना नहीं तो जो ना कर हिली ना मेरा मोदी कैप्टन देख रहा हूँ लेकिन आपने पेस्ट ऑफ बाप का नेक्स्ट टाइम मैंने वो सीरियल से लाई थी इसलिए बाप तो मुझे एक बोलो आउट ऑफ़ पोस्ट मैंने पढ़ा बोले स्टार्ट के लिए बोल से तो पढ़ी के नेक्स्ट आईएएस के लिए बोले बहुत सारे जो तो किंतु दी मैच पर बहुत लेटर एस्टेंट की बात माने हर � मो वर्ड से मोर बुक रे देखे लेने रे तो मो कोन कोले आउ थे प्रिपेयर करी नेक्स्ट ईयर देन आई क्लियर आई एस एग्जाम आलम गोई सोनी जी सर तो दिस इज योर टू वर्ड
in the angle, so I am very much privileged. So, yeah. I don't know how you want to say thank you for any inquiries that you can ask me. I am very much glad to answer all of your questions. And in my experience, I just want to say after graduation, if you are aspiring to, to, to be in government service, to be to have a secure future, so, so you need to put hours in studies. So and, uh, and you need to have that confidence that I will clear this exam. And you don't need to ask some, someone why you like more how working I you need to have that confidence within yourself. So I have that confidence within myself. That's why I think I got selected to God first. Yeah. Last year, last year, and this yeah. year, this year is where two of the most prestigious examinations. I think, I think this is a great, great achievement. We hope you. Thank 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 you. तो इतने में हमें स्कॉलरशिप करो कि जो मैंने आप लोगों माने स्कॉलरशिप का तो मैंने बेचमार करो जो तो आपको जो भी पढ़ा तो मार करो जो भी कि जो मैंने हमें 80 परसेंट को आवाज जो दिया हमारे टेस्ट में तो हमें ताको फ्री में पढ़ो जो भी आप लोगों को कि जो प्लस ताको पढ़ो जो भी ऐसे ताको समझ रहा है इस फिर भी हम वो पहले था कि आज जो ट्रेड करें तो भी तो हमारे को नॉलेज रहे कहाँ रहो भी कि कोरोना से बड़े टैलेंटेड स्टूडेंट हो चुके कि बहुत ही छात्र चीज तो मैंने आया सोचते सोचते कि किसी भी बंदे वाले पर तब अगर फाइनेंस का सपोर्ट नहीं कि प्रॉब्लम हो चुकी तो तो मैं रेफर दे पाई हूँ आपने तब वेरिफिकेशन कर तो आमिर ने भी हेल्प करो जो आओ मैंने फ्री में पढ़े हो आप लोगों के अच्छे से करने हैं सम बनिंग फॉर पीपल तो सेड़ा वाले दे पड़े हो आओ वाले भी आप लोग पिला की जब जब रिसेंटली कोरोना है चीज जो मैंने बहुत 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 पिला पाठ करो चले पड़ता है क्या पैनेस टेप को ये ले ये वाले सारे स्ट्रगल